Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project e-commerce portal and this is an online e-commerce portal for long, like online shopping and uh, I have developed this project in ASP.NET, c -sharp, and database I am using is the MySQL for running this project I am using the Visual Studio 2017 and also uh, if you have Visual Studio 2015 then you can run this project easily on the 2015 also for connecting the MySQL with the C Sharp, I am using the MySQL connector, which you will get easily from the MySQL.org website, and you can easily connect your MySQL with the C Sharp. So this is all about the database, backend, and the server technologies. For frontend, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and some of the jQuery library for giving some good effects inside the project, just like integration of the date plugin as well as form validations, creating drop down menus, I am using the jQuery plugin. Okay, so this is all about the technology. Let's start with the functionality. So the project title is online e-commerce portal and uh, this is a mini project which I have developed in ASP C Sharp and the MySQL. This is mini project because of it has only and only customer functionality. There is nothing for the admin. Means admin, there is no login for the admin. Only customer can log in, customer can register, customer can make the order, customer can make the payment, customer can see the product details. Each and everything will be performed by the customer. There is nothing for the admin. Okay, that's why it's a mini project. So let's start with the functionality. So this is the home page of the project and you can see some products are coming on the home page and it's coming from the database directly. So currently there are six products available in the home page. But if you go on the all product section, then there will be 15 products. Okay, so because I have added uh, more than uh, six projects in, products into the database, and all products are coming here, right? So this page is totally dynamic page, and all the things are coming from the database. This is the about us section, and it's the only, and uh, this is a static page, and uh, there is nothing dynamic inside this project. Uh, product uh, sorry in this page and if you need uh, to change anything then you can change it directly from the HTML page this is the all product section and where all the products which has been added into the database will be listed here so these all products are coming from the database and if you click on the view details then you will be able to see the details of the products right so this is the filtration so if you want to filter out the data so it means what type of products you want to purchase then you can just click on the types and those products will be filtered out and the details of the product will be listed here okay so this is the registration from where customer will be able to registration and one more thing without login customer will not be able to place the order so if you don't have the user account then you will be able to register from here and after that you can make the purchase this is a login from where customer will be able to log in right so this registration and login page is also dynamic so now i am going to add some product into the cart and going to make payment so view details click on the add to cart and after that uh, now i'm click on the watches section and view details add to cart there are two items inside the cart now i'm going to buy some bags so view details and add to cart so currently there are three items inside the cart okay so proceed to payment once you click on the proceed to payment then it will ask for the user id and password you can do one thing if you have the user id and password then you can log in it from here if you don't have user id and password then you can register right so click on the login and after that you can click on the my card section here and you will be able to see all of the previous added items and click on the proceed to payment again once you click on the proceed to payment then it will show you the payment page and this is a dummy payment gateway and there is nothing than uh, there is nothing external to the system from this page and and uh, no payment will be made so you can enter any type of garbage data here right so i am entering any type of garbage data so it will not be validated and just click on the make payment and after that it will show you your order number 18 right for seeing all of your past order history click on the my order section right you will be able to see your past order history so you made this order click on the details and you will be able to see the details of the order 
this is the change password section from where you will be able to change your password and for that you need to enter your old password and after that new password and confirm password right okay so it's all about the project and if you log out from the system then the above menu will be changed and it will come which is available for the non-login users so this is all about the project online e-commerce portal and it's a mini project which i have developed in asp c sharp and mysql so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes and i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest video updates on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much